Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading. Um, I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my beautiful loves. Let's see what we have here for Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Taurus, please, spirit. What does Taurus need to know today, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Tauruses, please. For my beautiful Taurus, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Taurus, please. Okay. So we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. The Six of Pentacles, I don't know if that's blurry, Six of Pentacles, the Empress in the Reverse, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy, I hope you guys can see that and it's not blurry, okay, um, we have the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups, we've got the Hermit in the Reverse, Virgo energy, and we have the Ace of Cups. Oh, baby. Okay. Taurus under the deck, we have the Knight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. So my loves, this can be energy in or around you, which means that it could be something you're going through or something that somebody close to you is going through. This could be your story. This could be the perspective of your person side. So take what resonates and please keep in mind their general readings. Okay. So Taurus, I feel like what we have here is somebody has met something, some, something, <laughs> somebody here has met someone new. Okay, this is a new love. And with the hermit in the reverse, it's almost like this energy of, I don't have to think about anything. I don't need a minute. I don't need to analyze. There's no, no doubt, no question. Here is my heart. Okay, with the seven of cups and the empress here, Taurus, I get this indication that we have someone here that was dealing with multiple people. Okay. This could be you, Taurus. This could be your person. Someone here had a lot of options. And I'm talking dealing with multiple people. But they were not Empress material. These are people that had nothing to give to a connection. They were not people that you can manifest with or grow with. Okay? We have the Six of Pentacles and the King of Cups here, Cancer. Uh, oh, Cancer. Sorry, some of you might be dealing with a Cancer because we've got the King of Cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. So Taurus, I feel here that with the Six of Pentacles and the King of, of Cups, um, you could be dealing with a water sign, but I feel that ultimately there is this beautiful exchange of giving and receiving on every level, loyalty, love, finances. There's just a very beautiful give and take with this connection. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify here clarity guidance and love messages for my beautiful tauruses tell me about the ace of cups here and the hermit in the reverse taurus oh, good lord jesus okay we've got the queen of cups so now we've got the queen to the king of cups taurus which is a true pair with the sun card leo energy um taurus there's just an instantaneous knowing an instantaneous knowing that you have met the one now if you don't feel this way taurus your person may be feeling this way Three of Cups under the deck. Taurus, I feel like you have so much fun with this person. It's almost like you want to celebrate just because you found this person. I feel like you have a great time with this person. It's just a lot of joy and happiness here. Three of Cups wanted to pop out again. Tell me about the Seven of Cups and the Empress in the Reverse, please. Seven of Cups and the Empress in the you see what I'm saying? Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands under the deck, Leo Sag Aries energy. 
Guys, we are dealing with somebody here that was talking to a lot of people. We're dealing with someone here who was sleeping with a lot of people. But these were Queen of Wands energies in a sense that someone here was dealing with people that were out to have a good time. People that were independent. People that maybe weren't looking for a relationship. People that just wanted to have fun. People that, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, th these are people that really... Were when it comes down to manifesting in a connection. See that card there, Taurus? You see how we've got the cup and the wand and the pentacle and the sword right there on the table? I don't know if you guys could catch that right there on that card. Okay, this is Virgo Gemini energy. Um, the Empress is in the reverse. So someone here was dealing with a lot of people, talking to a lot of people, sleeping with a lot of people. And even though they held their own, okay, even, I mean, they're Queen of Wands energy. These are people, they're not like low lives, like, you know what I'm saying? These are people that still sit as queen and kings, okay? They still sit as queen, you know, not not ugly people, not, you know, inside or out. These are people that still go to work, have jobs, wake up every morning, beast mode, slay, whatever, but it's a very fun and sexual energy is what I'm feeling here, okay? Someone here was looking for an empress, looking for someone that knows how to bring love to the table, passion to the table, someone who can help financially achieve financial goals and with the sword there someone who's intelligent someone who knows how to um you know set goals and achieve them someone that they can have an intelligent conversation with and with the empress in the reverse and the seven of cups with the eight of wands i feel like there was fun with th these other people great sex with these other people but nobody could manifest the way this person wanted to like no no you know no, they, someone here was looking for an empress and could not find it. So when we see the Ace of Cups Taurus and we see the Seven of Cups, it's this energy of someone has found the one. Okay, someone has found the one. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles and the King of Cups, please. Six of Pentacles and the King of Cups for Taurus, please. Oh, good Lord, Jesus. All right. So we've got the full card, Aries energy. We have the devil card in the reverse, Capricorn energy and the Queen of Wands. <sighs> Taurus, I feel like someone here is moving on, taking that leap of faith to go all in on a connection. Someone here is cutting ties with all of these Queen of Wand energies, okay? And these Queen of Wand energies are pursuing, but someone here is saying, nope, cutting them off. I have started a new beginning with somebody. It's prosperous. It's beautiful. It's committed. It's, you know what I'm saying? Someone here is going all in on a connection. Okay. We've got the Knight of Wands, the Emperor, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. So, Listen, what we have here, Taurus, is somebody that is going from player to emperor, okay? Because they have found their empress. King to the queen of cups on the board, Taurus, true pair. King to the, uh, excuse me, emperor to the empress. We're now talking power couple. We're talking husband, wife. We're talking mom and dad. And I feel that what brings the knight of wands to emperor status is leaving people out in the cold. So someone here is dropping all their side pieces. Okay, someone here is dropping all their O's, you know. And with the Five of Cups, I feel like they feel bad. With the Five of Cups, they feel, you know, sorrow. Like, hey, I'm so sorry, you know. But with the Star card, Aquarian Energy, I have, I, this, someone here is following Divide Guide and someone here is saying, listen, I have to go towards this because this is my wish fulfillment. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sorry. I can't talk to you. I'm so sorry. I feel bad, but I have to cut you out of my life because I'm upgrading. I'm ascending here. I'm going from a knight of wands. I'm going from player to emperor, baby. And I don't got the time. I got to go do what I got to do, you know? So Taurus, this is really, really beautiful. Someone here is willing to go all in all in 
Okay. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I love you all so very much. And I will see you soon, my loves. Bye, guys.